Justin, how are we doing today? Uh, we're doing good. We doing good? Traded Tesla. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we bought into Tesla. You did. On don't, don't throw me into that bus. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, what's going on, guys? It's Ricky. Uh, one thing that I wanted to talk about very quickly, so if you tuned in to our Learn, Plan, Profit live stream, today was probably one of the longest live streams I've ever hosted for Learn, Plan, Profit. Uh, today's the natural gas report, which means just like I've talked about and have a huge emphasis on, it's something where I have a huge focus on. I trade a lot of like, you know, uh, ETFs, especially natural gas ETFs, you guys and DGAS, and one hour after the market opens, you guys know that this weekly natural gas report comes out. It's normally my biggest week uh, biggest day to profit out of the week and today is no exception so if you guys want to see exactly me buying and me selling uh, then be sure if you're part of learn plan profit go into the learn plan profit discord chat in the morning chat library you guys can re-watch the live stream where you saw me buy and then um, ultimately just do the entire breakdown uh, but what I wanted to show you guys you guys should be able to see very quickly um, it actually selling my position my original position and it was $100,000 and the reason that I actually sold a $100,000 position it was a little bit less than $100,000 what it was actually because of the Learn Plan Profit Group. Uh, we were about to close out the live stream, and the really cool thing that happened is, well, I wouldn't say necessarily really cool, but um, one thing that we noticed is that the natural gas report is released at 6.30, right? So 6.30, so natural gas was showing signs of a downtrend. This is what I want you guys to pay attention to. It was showing signs of a downtrend, it found a support here, the natural gas report was released, and guess what? This thing continued to push up, it continued to push up, and it continued to push up. Based on previous patterns, you could see that it, it was normally rejected around this general area, so it made sense on look at the RSI and look at the MACD. Natural gas was overbought. That's what influenced, that's what suggested for me to, hey, you know, identify that natural gas is overbought and when natural gas is overbought, then that means that degas is oversold. It took a long time, just like sometimes it takes 20, 30, 40 minutes. Um, this time it took a little bit longer for natural gas to fully sell off. The, the news and the report became less relevant. And again, if you want more details about that, watch that Learn, Plan, Profit live stream. It began to consolidate and then the overall direction began to change. Just like we expected, like it normally plays out. It doesn't have to always play out this way. And that's what I want you guys to understand. But what ended up happening, for those that could see, it ended up hitting, after it sold off, it built this nice little margin for recovery. So from where it sold off and when it broke above the EMA line and to what it was, pre you know, the previous highs, that previous high built a margin of, if you guys could see that, 3.25%. I'm using the trend line tool on the TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. And you could see that literally it's almost at that exact price point based off previous patterns, as you guys could see right there. I didn't expect it to recover all the way. That's not always something that I expect. That's very hopeful. One thing that I saw is as soon as it began to push up, I ended up blocking in profits originally at 129 three, four, and then I got back in after it pushed up to 130. We want to go check out the uh, a warehouse to, uh, for it to be possibly tech buds HQ. Um, I'll provide you guys more updates on that. But what ended up happening is after it pushed up above 130, it pulled back and I called out the pullback if you're part of one plant profit and then it began to indicate signs of an uptrend. The overall EMA line continued to point up. It continued to push up and then just closed my last position. Um, and you guys can see that right there. Uh, for those that can, it says $1,814.74. That's on ticker symbol DGAS. All together on the day, $2,022.04. It's as simple as that. Again, you guys should know that today I traded with $100,000 when it came down to my DGAS position. So I made about 1.8% return, which isn't too bad. Um, my daily goal is anywhere from 1.5 to 2% on a daily basis. Again, that's not something that I would encourage a newer trader to try to um, achieve, but it's something that I saw value in. The margin of profit was worth it because of the natural gas report. I trade the natural gas report very often. Why did I trade so aggressively? Because I felt comfortable doing it. Uh, again, and I explained my thought process on why I felt so comfortable due to my experience in that Learn, Plan, Profit live stream. If you guys want more of a breakdown and want more of an explanation, that is the only way that I break down and explain so if you want to be able to watch me trade live every single day, I have a little coupon for you guys in the first link in the description. It's $40 off the Learn Plan Profit course for those that see value in it and like the way that I trade and break things down. So really do appreciate your guys' time. Uh, we're able to close out the, the week. I was scared that I was going to close out the week in the red because of my red day yesterday and the red day before. I lost about $47 yesterday and the day before that a little bit over $800. The day before that I made a little bit over $500. So I was down in the red. 
but now because of my uh, $2,000 day, definitely closing out in the green. So again, I didn't hit my daily, uh, my overall weekly goal. Last week I made 4.5K. This week I'm at like 1.5, 1.7K profit. Not bad. I try to aim for around, uh, you know, 2.5K to 4K overall on a weekly basis. Now that I'm trading with around $50,000 on average. So again, that's on average. Today was a little bit different, but it's because it was the natural gas report. Again, I wouldn't suggest this for any newer trader as I've done this for you know a very long period of time. But really do appreciate you guys this time. I hope you guys have an amazing Easter weekend. Spend time with your family, make someone smile. Like always guys, continue working hard, continue following dreams, let your passion be your drive and success. If you guys want to stay up to date with Weston's trading uh, of him shadowing me um, and his first week trading, be sure to click that second link in the description. And if you want to join our free Facebook group with over 200,000 members, we're the largest YouTube channel with the largest private Facebook group, click that third link in the description. Wish you guys an amazing rest of your day. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.